Today we've got one of my favorite all-time covers, uh, definitely in my top 10 or if not top 5. This is McFarlane's last work on Amazing Spider-Man. It's this uh, number 328 where, you know, it shows Spider-Man punching the Hulk. Um, it's just a pretty cool how the Hulk's breaking out of a wall here. and It's just really good artwork here. Um, just classic. This is a newsstand copy. I just recently obtained this one. I got a really low price. I think it was like $9 for this book. So I was excited about that. I was hoping it would be higher grade, um, but I'm thinking it might be more in the higher mid to mid high grade, um, not high grade or ultra high grade. But anyways, let's go ahead and just take a look. Um, immediately when I look at it, I can see some color breaks here on the spine. Um, it looks, it, it presents very well otherwise, but I just know this isn't like an ultra high 9.4, 9.6, or 9.8. So immediately I know it's going to be somewhere in the 8 you know, seven, five to nine range. So just at first glance, I can kind of tell that. It's a, it's a beautiful book. I don't think it would, unless it's got some kind of major flaw we can't see, I can't see it getting below 7.5, but let's just go ahead and take a look. Um, that corner is pretty sharp. You know, that's a good criteria for me in choosing which comics to buy, having sharp corners. This one, just the most minuscule blunting to it, but it's very negligible. Um, so once we look at the edges here, the edges have a little bit of, um, you can see rippling to it. They've been hit, but at the same time, I don't see any color break. I think that can be pressed out. This edge as well looks good. Not seeing anything on the bottom edge. Let's take a look at the spine. And you can definitely see these ticks, especially up toward the upper end here. And, you know, there's, I'm going to count them here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 ticks with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that one I don't believe breaks color, so we got 5 or 6 color break. Not too bad. Um, this one is definitely, these are definitely noticeable. Um, they do hurt the presentation of the book a little bit. So, you know, we know that nine or ten of these are going to probably press out. So we're really looking at these as downgrading us. So after press, you know, having this here right um, on the spine, this moderate tick here, I'm going to call this at max a 9.2 based on what I'm seeing right here. Um, but with all this damage here, uh, pressable damage, not seeing anything in the center of the book, you know, with the number of ticks we have, I'm immediately thinking we're in the 8.5 range on this book if I were to submit it right now. Maybe even 8.0. So let's go ahead and flip the book over. And got a good corner there. Corners are nice on this book. And we didn't look at the top of the spine. Let's look at that pretty good. Bottom of the spine looking good as well. Maybe just a slight ding to it there. Um, this is a flaw that's common on this book. I say more than half of books I see it has this little tear right here. That's a bindery thing and it's on tons of these books. So that is not, I've seen nine eights with this so I know that's not something that CGC is going to detract for. Um, see if there's, there's some handling wear up here as well little bit here and that has a slight color break to it that thumb or whatever that ding so we're gonna have to take off for that nothing major here though spine is a white spine so it's not showing but it's got the same ticks maybe not quite as bad here on the back um, so before we go in the interior here I'm thinking we're in an 8.0 right now um, if I were to submit it right now it looks it just based on experience just looks like an 8.0 book to me I'm going to set this down here. And we're not missing anything yet. Um, we got, call that, the slightest hint of off-white, but, you know, books in the 80s, they kind of come off, they kind of looked a little bit off-white when you buy them initially. They were not perfectly white. The quality of the paper wasn't great, I guess. I'm going to call this white pages, but... I wouldn't be surprised if it gets off white to white. It's like I could see it going either way. 
I'm not seeing anything on the interior. No tears, rips, anything like that. I've already looked through this book. I didn't see anything. So we're going to flip it back over. So I'm going to roll with that. I'm thinking we're in an 80 right now. After press. Based on that little extra color break on the back. Um, the little ding here. The color breaks on the spine. And not the guarantee that this is going to 100% press out here. I'm going to call this book a 90 Max. We're currently 80. We'll get up to 90, hopefully, with a press. Not surprised if it's an 85. Not surprised if it's a 92. Super surprised if it's a 94. Super surprised if it's an 80 or 75. So I've got actually three or four copies of this I'm going to submit. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look at a couple books every time that happens. So I'll look at the newsstand on this one, and I'll look at the one of the other direct copies. And I'll look at a nicer copy um, that I've got here, um, right here. So I'll pause the video while I get this out of the... Um, out of the uh, bag, but and just in case you're interested, I did a, a a video on the best ways to get books in and out of these bag and boards. So if you want to check that out, I'll I'll put it in the description below and up here as well. Okay, well here's the direct copy, and just looking at it initially, I can see this is a very ultra high grade book. I'm not seeing anything just at first glance. It look it presents pretty much perfectly. I'm not seeing any kind of ticks here, not seeing any bends, rips, tears, dings, anything like that, just at first glance. But let's go ahead and take a look. So we've got an ultra sharp uh, top corner here. Same on the bottom. Maybe just the tiniest insignificant little bend with no color break. I think that might press out though. And we'll take a look at the edges. Edges are looking good. Do have a little crease, minor tiny little crease without color break here. I don't know if you can see that. Kind of like right there. And I, I've pulled the page back here. I can make sure it's not a tear or anything. And that looks pressable. So let's take a look at the top of the spine. It's pretty flawless. We have a little thing here on the bottom. Right there, if you can see it. Um, it's like it's been bumped, but it looks like it's going to flatten out and press down. I don't I don't see where that's not going to press out. And we'll take a look at the spine. This is one of the better spines I've ever seen on a book of this age. Whoever owned this book before I did, and I, I got a really good deal on this book as well. I, I buy this book if it looks like a 9.4 or better potential. But I never pay more than $30 for it. I'm guessing I paid something like $25 for this one. You know, probably $30 with shipping. So anytime I think I can get a 9.8 out of this book potential, I definitely will pay toward the higher range of that for a raw book. Okay, so I am seeing one, two, three, four, with absolutely no color break yet. Now there's no color breaks here. There might be a minuscule one right there. Yeah, I didn't see it until now, but it's like a very negligible minor, if it even is a break. Just like this little dot. And there isn't even a tick there, so I'm, I'm guessing that isn't even a color break. That's just part of the printer process. You can see this this book has little white spots on it from the original. All of the books have that and that, and probably that one as well. Based on what I see, I think even with this little tiny crease and this minute bend here and the four little tiny little negligible that you can't find ticks unless you're, you know, holding it a certain way. I think this book could get a 9.8 as it, it sits right now based on the front. Certainly a 9.6. So we'll just roll with that. But I think everything is pressable so far. So this is on pace to potentially be a 9.8 candidate. So let's flip her over. And you can see this book right here has the little tear on the bottom. It's just not as significant as the other book. So... It's definitely there though. Sometimes it's just nothing, sometimes it's just like this, and sometimes it's pretty, you know, it's a good quarter inch tear. I've got a little bump here on the top corner that looks pressable though. It's white, so I don't see a color break. Okay, let's look at the corners. Looking good here. Very good on the bottom. Same little 
ding on the bottom and top here that I think will press. Well, I'm just not seeing any kind of handling wear on this book. This is pretty cool. It's very rare to not see some kind of thumb or something on the back, right? All right. Almost afraid to even open this book. Okay. Looking good here. Definitely white pages, I believe. Looking very good on the inside here. I'm not seeing anything. In fact, I just heard a little pop here on the bottom. What that means is you see these little printer errors here on the bottom, these little holes. Uh, it's a common thing in the 80s for sure. But the pages kind of stick together in these little holes on the bottom. It's just, I guess, from whatever it's pressed, printed, whatever originally, it forms those little holes. They don't count against grading or anything like that. But if a book has never been read, when you open it, it'll make a tiny little pop noise. So I'm not going to open this book anymore because I know this book has never been read because nobody's ever thumbed through the middle there and got, you know, so I'm going to, I'm going to protect that. I'm not going to, I know that they're probably going to do it at CGC. They're going to look at every page, but I'm going to, I'm going to keep that intact for now. I'm not going to mess with that. So this book is really nice. <laughs> this is one of the better books that I've purchased and uh, everything looks good on this book. I'm going to call this a potential 9.8 after press. I'm going to call it 9.6 certainly is potential. It's going to be very sad if it gets a 9.4, but you know that's not outside the realm of possibility. So expecting 9.6, 9.8, I'd say like 60% chance of 9.8 on this. Maybe like 25% chance, maybe 35% chance of 9.6, whatever's left over, you know, um, 9.4. They'd have to find something that I'm just not seeing here. Um, but I think this is a really strong chance of 9.8. In fact, I'm going to be surprised if it's not a 9.8. So that's it. So don't forget to have fun while you're out here collecting. And enjoy the rest of your day.